Stockpile volume. This topic deals with calculating the volume of a stockpile given both the existing surface prior to the stockpile creation and the surface of the stockpile. A volume will be calculated between the triangulations or tins of the two surfaces. To begin we have created a new project called Stockpile in the Volumes Working Area and we have used the Getting Started Survey configuration. To bring in the first surface we are going to read in a 12D ASCII file, File I.O., Data Input 12DA, 4DA and we are going to pick the file from the Volumes Training Area and select Stockpile Existing Surface. We are going to put in a prefix before the model name and we are just going to call it Original, press Space and then click Read. If you then move the panel out of the way you will see a series of green points and they are in the model Original Topo Surface Level. Right, we can finish on reading the 12D ASCII file panel and we are now going to create a triangulation of that surface. We select the option TINS, Create, Triangulate Data. The function name will be TIN space original, press enter. The TIN name will be original and again press enter. We don't need cell method so we select data. Go to the data tab and we are going to pick the view icon and select view 1. In the nulling tab we are going to apply nulling and we're just going to do a nulling length of 50 meters. Okay, we select triangulate and go to your plus button and turn on tin original. Always toggle on the contours by clicking on toggle tin contours just to check the contours look correct. We're now going to finish on the retriangulate tin panel and we're going to turn off the models and we're going to bring in the stockpile surface. So again we'll use file IO data input 12DA, 4DA, browse back up to the volumes folder and select stockpile. We're going to type in a prefix spile space and again click read. If we click finish now, this time the actual data has a triangulation built into it and because we toggled on the contours, the contours come up automatically. So if we turn off tin contours, you'll see them as triangles. If you would like to keep all the tins always with the prefix tin space stockpile, you can simply rename that model. If we select models, rename, pick spile tin stockpile, and we're just going to rename it to tin stockpile. And click rename. It's very important if you've imported a 12D ASCII file including a tin not to re-triangulate that tin. Because if you were to do that, if I was to go tin, edit, tin and look at the one that says stockpile, the model names here are not the same as what we've bred in because we've prefixed the data. We're now going to check that the surfaces coincide so that the second surface sits inside the first surface. So we'll turn on the model tin original and you'll see that the surface does sit inside the previous surface. If it doesn't, the volume will only be calculated where the tins coincide. We're now going to do the first of two volume calculations. We use the option design, volumes, exact, tin to tin. We pick the original tin, which was original. The new tin is stockpile. And we're going to type in a report file, which will just be stockpile vols. We're going to use a polygon, so we click on the polygon icon. And we pick on the edge of the stockpile. And you should see it highlight a string on the edge. And then we select volume. This will then open up the report file. You will see the volume, the amount of cut and fill shown here, as well as the polygon plan area. Now we're going to do the volume a second way, and the option we're going to use is Design Volumes End Area Tin to Tin. We pick the original and stockpile tins again. 
For the angle for the sections, we're going to type in 135 degrees to make the angle at right angles to the main axis. We will leave the distance between the sections as 10 metres. And we're also going to generate some sections. So if I type in lowercase excess space original, and for the new sections, excess space stockpile, these will generate the cross sections that we can then use to profile in the section view. We're going to clean sections beforehand in case we're doing it a second time. The polygon again will be the edge. We're going to add to the existing report file, so we pick the existing report and click volume. As we have a report file and we're appending to it, we click append and you'll now see a check on the volume down further with very similar results. If we were to make the separation even closer, you would get closer to the exact method. OK, if you go to your plus button now, we can turn on excess stockpile and you'll see the section lines that were created during this volume calculation. To get an idea of the depths of the stockpile, we can profile one of these in the section view. If you select View, New, Section, click back in Plan View 1 and select Window, Tile, Vertical. And in the section view, if we just turn on the two tins, and click on the profile icon and pick one of the cross sections and accept. We can also change the vertical exaggeration down to say 2. Using the plus or minus button now we can step through the sections in the stockpile.